Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Sergio Calderon. I serve as president for the Water Replenishment District of Southern California. On behalf of the Bureau Board, short for the Water Replenishment District of Southern California, I want to thank everyone for joining us this morning as we continue to save the district tradition, starting back on Anchor Robles. This was last year. Let me begin by acknowledging the meeting directors and other elected officials in attendance. We have Honorable Orchard Hill Water District Board President Bob Newman. Big hand for Ms. Newman. Uh, from the People Water District, we have the Honorable President Adrian Diaz. Also from the People Water District, we have the Honorable Director Robert Martinez. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here, Ms. Martinez. Thank you. We have, uh, we have, we have the Honorable Representative Diana Watson here. This would be and we also, uh, from the Office of the Assembly Speaker, John Harris, we have uh, Field Representative Marcella Cortez. Thank you. Again, I want to welcome and thank you for coming, and thank you for your public service. Uh, I know oftentimes uh, you all would like to have this, uh, spend time away from the family, away from your loved ones, uh, to perform your duty and ensure that appreciate that. Thank you. I also want to acknowledge WD staff in attendance. WD is very proud of our staff and the extraordinary confidence they bring to the work of the district. I tell you, when I was elected uh, back in 2006, uh, the first thing that I was impressed with was the caliber and trajectory of our staff. Thank you, Seth, for doing such a good job at being so dedicated. This was yet another remarkable year for the water punishment district. Then all the more noteworthy because we offered the first 50 years and made planning decisions that will shape our next 50 years. Our 50th anniversary celebration gave us the opportunity to rediscover why, how, and by whom the district was created and what we have accomplished as an agency over the past five decades. It also made us realize that much of what we have done in the past forms our planning for the future. At our anniversary celebration, we honor the pioneers of our country, the people who over two decades took the steps leading to voter approval of district formation on November 17, 1959. We also honor two agencies but have been indispensable partners of the Republican District from the very beginning. The Los Angeles County Flood Control District, which is now part of the Department of Public Works, and the Los Angeles County Sanitation Districts. Much has changed in the last 50 years. 50 years ago, 2.5 million people lived in 30 cities in the district service area. Today, there are more than 4 million people in 43 cities. The single largest land use 50 years ago was agriculture. Indeed, the majority of the comfort of the central basin were small dairy farmers. What is it in the city of Cerritos was the city of Dairy Valley back then. 50 years ago, there were no legal limits on pumping in the central basin. Pumping in the west basin was curtailed on a voluntary basis. Both basins were in danger of catastrophic collapse because the amount of water pumped was far more than could be naturally replenished. Overpumping had created an inland gradient from the ocean causing seawater to invade both places, contaminating wells from El Segunda to Long Beach. Today, the ports, who can pump, how much water, how much groundwater is fixed by the ports, and the water replenishment district makes up the difference between natural replenishment and the volume of water in the new pump. And an elaborate system of barrier well, of, of barrier wells, truly one of the gr uh, groundwater protection wonders of the world, has put a halt to seawater intrusion 
Although 650,000 acre feet of brackish water remain prepped on the inland side of the areas. 50 years ago, water climbers in Southern California counted a normal or above normal at precipitation in seven out of the 10 years. Far more water from the Colorado, Colorado River than our legal allotment and a future California water project that would meet our needs for at least 100 years. All of these planning assumptions have been turned upside down by phenomenal growth, weather, and poor rulings. While our primary mission to replenish the basins remains the same, how we go about accomplishing that mission has shifted markedly in the past 50 years. In the beginning, the water we purchased for replenishment was exclusively imported water from the Colorado River. In fact, the Water Replenishment District was the single largest user of imported water in the entire 612 Water District Service Area. In 1962, for the County Sanitation Districts, as a partner, we pioneered the use of recycled water for replenishment. Steadily, over time, we have increased our use of recycled water for spreading and barrier injection. Partnering with the Los Angeles County Flood Control District, we've also increased the capture of stormwater for replenishment, construction of the pipeline that will connect the two spreading grounds, enabling the capture of an additional 1,300 acre feet, or 423 million gallons of stormwater annually. Uh, this uh, began last fall, and while the this uh, last fall, and while it will be in operation during the storm season. 